quiet, could we? Just had to let him in, didn't we? Serve him Citizen must show. Oh, I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish. Oh, Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? I mean, look at us. Look at you. <laughs> and what about me? You always were insufferable. But as each day passes, you become a little more inflexible. A little more tightly wound, and a little more ticked up. Spare me the stupid puns. But at least we are not as far gone as some of the others. But you saw what happened to Michelle. And she always was too vain about her looks. That's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Draws the mirrors, the works. And poor Jean Claude. Who? Well, Jean Claude, you know, the stable boy. Not too bright, dominant. A brick. The whole wall. Jean Claude's a brick wall. Well, that's him. They keep you behind the stove. <laughs> no Guillaume. The house boy. That mealy mouth food. I never did like him. Always crawling from master's feet. He's a doormat. Perfect. <laughs> oh, it's happening faster than some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will gradually become things. <laughs> but why did we get dragged into all this spell business? It's not like we threw the old beggar woman out of her ears. No, but are we not responsible too for helping to make him the way he is? I suppose. All I know is I will eventually melt away to nothing. <laughs> I only hope there is something left of me if the master ever breaks his spell. <laughs> hold on, old man. You've got to hold on. Make your choice. 
One more thing. You will join me for dinner. And that's not a request! 